Welcome to a brief video demonstration of NewScribe, Vemic's highly simplified voice recognition driven documentation solution for physicians. NewScribe has an easy to use interface that gives physicians the ability to create comprehensive medical reports in just seconds using many time saving tools that don't exist with handwriting or traditional transcription. NewScribe also offers electronic prescribing through the SureScripts network that encompasses approximately 80% of the nation's pharmacies. In the next few minutes, I'll show you exactly how NewScribe will save your practice or hospital both a tremendous amount of time and money. To get started, you simply select the patient and template for the encounter. In this case, we will select a history and physical. You'll notice that the patient has already been selected and we're going to do a note on the same patient. So we simply need to select another template. Select history and physical, click on begin document, and that quickly we are ready to dictate the note. Patient complains of severe head pain period. Patient awoke at her grandmother's house three nights ago with severe head pain period. And you'll note that these next three fields have already been populated. These are what we call patient-specific fields. The historical information for any given patient is going to be pretty consistent throughout a cycle of documentation. So you may recognize this information from the last SOAP note we created. Instead of dictating it over and over again, it will move forward from the previous note. There are several other ways we can save the user a tremendous amount of time above and beyond the patient-specific fields. One is by using macros. That's where we attach a small phrase to a larger body of text. So in lieu of dictating out the whole review of systems, we'll just say normal review of systems. And you'll see how it populates instantaneously the entire review of systems. And of course we'll probably want to make a few changes to this. Select denies headache. You simply select the text you want to dictate over and then dictate. Show signs of migraine. And then finally the other way we save a tremendous amount of time is by using templated default text. A good example of this is all of these normals in the physical examination which typically by and large will be normal but of course we can go in and make any other changes we want just like we did with the review of systems just by highlighting and dictating over. But in this case, we'll finish out the note. Migraine ICD. Migraine plan. Again, using a macro. Then we hit save. And again, just that quickly, we've created a history and physical document. If we want to take a look again at our finished product, we just hit preview and we get a very nice two-page document with all the historical information, the review of systems, physical examination, diagnosis, and plan. After creating a comprehensive history and physical, many physicians, namely specialists, will be required to send out a referring physician letter. This is a very simple process. Once we've created the history and physical, we'll just click on our template button and select the referring physician letter template. Click on Begin Document and we are presented with a list of referring physicians that will be loaded into the system. We simply select the doctor that we want to send the letter to, click Continue, and it has all of the physician's uh, demographic information inserted, including address. And in this example letter template, you'll notice we have an introductory paragraph uh, stating that it's been a pleasure participating in the treatment of this patient. And then the two fields that follow, uh, actually utilizing the patient specific quality, pull forward the diagnosis and plan directly from the history and physical that we've just created. This is a fantastic feature because in the letter it delivers only the pertinent content in lieu of delivering the entire H&P itself. And then down at the bottom we have one more paragraph of default text thanking the physician for referring the patient. And you'll notice that I do not dictate or change anything in this letter, but of course you can, just like we did in previous documents. So in this case, I'll just hit Save. And if we want to take a look at the letter we've just created, we just open up the patient's chart, select Referring Physician Letter, hit Preview, and here is our letter, all ready to be signed and faxed directly out of the system.
We hope you've enjoyed this brief demonstration of our new Scribe product. So to find out more information or to get a full live demonstration, please contact us at 877-549-5100. Or you can take a look at our website at newscribe.com.